right so this question came for two marks and it is a relatively easy question but before i move on to the question i would like to give you a few uh, you know not hints a few a brief description about this topic because this particular topic has been coming in the exam for the last 3 4 years right and there are, there are only a, there are only a few concepts that are involved in this in, in these type of questions so i'll discuss each each of these concepts and then come on to the question now first of all uh, the most basic thing is that you should know the electronic configuration of each and every uh, element present in the lanthanide series okay now there are certain anomalies as well so you need to know, know the configurations okay so first of all all the uh, lanthanides have 6s2 electronic configuration all of them okay so all of them have a 6 i'll just write it down over here 6s2 electronic configuration okay now coming on to the 5d uh, shell in the 5 5d subshell there is <coughs> only four elements that occupy that have occup that have electron in the 5d subshell one is lanthanum one is cerium one is gadolinium and the last one is lutetium okay so these four elements have one electron in their 5d configuration in the 5d subshell now so, so then lanthanum has uh, zero in its 4f uh, cerium has one and then this is where it changes so in prasiodymium in prasiodymium it becomes 4f3 because it does not have any d electrons okay so now no, just remember only four elements have d electrons uh, one is lanthanum the another one is cerium then is gadolinium and lutetium and then you can go on and mark the electronic configurations for the remaining elements so again here so for europium it's seven and for gadolinium also it's seven so they both have 4f configurations 4f7 configurations and there's one but in gadolinium there's one d electron okay so then we suddenly move on to nine this is where it changes then for diprosmium we get 10 for holmium it's 11 for erbium it's 12 for thulium it's 13 for ytterbium it's 14 and then for lutetium again 14 so this is the trend uh, of the lanthanide series okay now coming on to the some basic formulas so uh, first of all the bohr magneton uh, the basically the spin uh, the, the magnetic mom momenta for lanthanides is basically given by uh, formula G under root J J plus 1 okay where this G is the Lande splitting factor so G over here is our Lande splitting factor I'll just come on to this in a moment and uh, the the J over here J is our uh, total angular momentum so just remember this formula very important the <coughs> the magnetic momenta mu this is the calculated okay this is calculated the magnetic momenta calculated for lanthanides is G under root J J plus 1 okay now let's come on to the basic formula of G so G is equal to uh, 1 plus okay J J plus 1 plus S S plus 1 minus L L plus 1 upon 2 J j plus one so so last year we actually had a question on this where we was we were told to calculate the uh, value of g for uh, cerium 3 plus right so these type of questions keep coming so you just need to remember these formulas okay so over here our uh, j is like i told you the total angular momentum okay I'll also come on to the formula of J, just hold on a moment, okay. L is our total orbital angular momentum. This is L, okay. Total orbital angular momentum. And S is the 
total spin angular momentum okay so this is what all these terms stand for in the value of g okay now coming on to j j is like i told you is total angular momentum right and it is given by either l plus s or l minus s okay so if the uh, if we are for example we are calculating the uh, j value and for a particular subshell the that particular subshell is half filled or less than half filled sorry less than half filled if the sub uh, if the subshell is less than half filled then we use this formula so less than half filled we use this particular formula and if and if it's uh, half filled or more then we use this formula so half filled or more then this formula so for example if we have 4f orbital right so in 4f orbital if it's if it if, if the f if there are eight electrons present in the f orbital then it's more than half filled right so then we'll use formula l plus s similarly if it's 4f 4 so it's less than half filled because for half filled it should be 4f 7 right so if, if it's 4f 4 it's less than half filled so we'll use this formula l minus s okay so these were some basic things uh that you need to know okay coming back to the question the question says that the calculated and observed magnetic momenta in bohr magneton of aqua complex of lanthanide ions are 0 and 3.5 respectively we need to find out which element okay so first of all <coughs> it says the calculated and observed so the observed is basically the experimental magnetic momenta and the experimental magnetic momenta can only be found out by experiments so what we can do is we can only calculate the formula by the uh, we can only calculate the uh, bore uh, the mo magnetic momenta by the formula the by the theoretical formula okay and what was the formula the formula was that mu is equal to g okay under root j j plus 1 okay this was our formula now for this term to be zero because it's given to us that the calculated angular moment uh, the calculated magnetic momenta is zero right so that means either this j j plus 1 term is zero okay or either this g term that the land splitting factor is zero okay now now i'm not going into the re reason why uh, what happens but g can never be equal to g zero so g is never equal to zero uh okay i am i am not going into the detailed discussion of why this happens uh, it will take a lot of time okay and j is is so this means j is equal to 0 okay then only this term can become equal to 0 that is a sp uh, the magnetic momenta can be equal to 0 right so so now what is j j equal to like as told you is a, either l minus s or l plus s and l minus s for less than half filled okay and l plus s for half filled or more half filled or more okay so now let's look at our, our look, look at our options so first of all it's pr promethium 3 plus promethium 3 plus is uh, uh so it's 4f5 6d 6s2 so that means it will uh, promethium 3 plus will have how many electrons uh, four electrons okay so i write over here four So this has four electrons in in its f orbital. We, I'm just talking about the f orbital, okay? So then we come on to Eurat europium three plus. So europium three plus is four f seven six s two. So in three plus state it will be four f six. So I write down six electrons, okay? Then going on to praseodymium. Praseodymium is four f three six s two. So on re uh, removal of three electrons, that is in plus three oxidation state, it will be four f two, right? So two electrons over here. And then we go to samarium. Samarium is four f six six s two, so it will have five electrons. Okay. Now usually, <coughs> now first of all, uh, one observation that you all can make is that all of these uh, uh, f electrons are less than the half filled, uh, half filled, uh, you know, less than the half filled uh, subshell. So that means that we'll use the formula l minus s because, like I stated. 
for L minus S, uh, it's over here. L minus S. If J is J is equal to L minus S when less than half filled, right? So that means we'll use the formula for J is S L minus S. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now usually what you do is when you need to like you know when when it is just a matter of putting in the values and checking, you generally go for the second or third option. That's what I do and it generally works okay so let's go with say praseodymium first so praseodymium has two electrons in its f orbital okay so let us draw the f orbital over here okay so we have our f orbital with the one two three four five six okay one two three four five six seven yeah so we have l as plus three over here plus two plus one 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 you know the thing right this these are the values of L okay where L is our orbital like I stated angular uh, total orbital angular momentum so we have 4f2 so according to Hun's rule we'll do the filling so now the L value is what one is one is gone in plus 3 one is gone in plus 2 so L equal to 5 and the total spin is equal to half plus half that is equal to 1 so if we do L minus s it comes out to be equal to 4 and uh, but we need this value to be equal to 0 that's how j will become equal to 0 so this is not the answer now coming on to europium europium has 4f6 so again we'll do the calculations okay so over here we have our 4f so 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we have 6 electrons okay so one over here one over here and like that we get 6 electrons this is plus 3 this is plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 now if you add all of these what you get plus 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 6 minus 1 5 minus 2 3 so L total is equal to 3 now if we calculate the spin there are 6 unpaired electrons so the total spin becomes equal to 3 and now if you do L minus S and L minus S is what J so 3 minus 3 this becomes equal to 0 so that means the value over here if we put j equal to 0 this whole term becomes 0 that means our calculated magnetic momenta becomes 0 so hence the correct answer is our europium 3 plus